That ball's going to be uh, received by number 20, Tyler Russell for Crown Night. We want to welcome everybody here today for our Crown Night football. We're uh, playing against Saint, the Sandy Springs Stallion. And uh, Crown will have it first and 10 on about the 23 yard line. Number 10, Sam Evans, the fumble on the play. He's gonna make it a little two-yard loss. It'll be second and 12 on the 20-yard line. going to run up through the middle, carried by number 20, Tyler Russell, for a gain of about one. That's going to bring it to third down. Number 48, Eli Spivey, is going to bring it out to the right. It's going to be about uh, a one-yard, two-yard gain. It's going to make it fourth and about eight to go for Crown. Number 21, Cameron Reed with the recovery. He's going to run it down the, looks like he's pushed out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. Sandy Springs is going to have it first and 10. On about the 28 yard line. Number seven, Willie Andrews for Sandy Springs is going to be brought down for a loss. It's going to make it second and about 15. Number 85 with the completion. That's going to be a touchdown for Sandy Springs. A great throw by number seven, Willie Andrews. That's going to make it 6 0 Sandy Springs as they go for the two point conversion. We're going to pick it to number 11, Bernardo Vargas. Number, number 20, Tyler Russell for Crown with a recovery. It'll be first and 10 crown on about the 25 yard line.
number 77 on the tackle. It's going to be a loss for Crown. Make it second, second down. Cameron Williams with that tackle. Flag on the play. Number 25 of the carry to the outside, Braden Beavers, is brought down and met by several stallions. That's going to make it third down. With about 15 to go. intended for Braden Beavers, and that's going to make it fourth down. I also would like to welcome our Crown Knight cheerleaders. And for those of you who aren't familiar, Chairman is also down there, keeping them straight with their cheers. be a fake punt by Crown. Braden Beavers with the carry. He's going to be able to bring that out. And it's going to be a change of play just missing the first down. So Sandy Springs will take over the ball at about the 30 yard line. It'll be first and 10. down on the 20-yard line. It's going to be a pass play to number 11. Ronaldo Vargas with another touchdown for Sandy Springs. That'll make it 12-0. Play to 98, 99, Zahi White, Zazi White with the uh, with the carry, he surges to the right, breaks a few tackles. It's gonna make it second and about six to go.
Sandy Springs meets him at the line. It's like a couple yard gain. Gonna make it about third and two. Kyle Russell again with a carry. Brown is going to surge forward. We'll see if it's a first down when they mark the ball. And they're going to move the chain, so Crown is able to push three for the first down. That'll make it first and ten at the 50. With about four minutes to go in the first quarter. Run sweep to the left, breaks a few tackles, and is pushed out at about the 30 yard line. There's a flag on the play. Watch the ball! Watch the ball! Tyler left the sweep to the outside. He's going to be brought down at about the line of scrimmage by number 53 in Sandy Springs. Javon Miller. Gonna make it second and about nine to go. About three minutes left in the first quarter. Tackle made by number seventy one, Michael McKenzie. It'll be a no gain. It'll make it third. In about 12. Sam Evans is going to sweep to the left for Crown and he's going to be pushed out by several Sandy Springs players. That's going to make it fourth down. As the first quarter comes to an end, we'll start. Number 25, Braden Beaver. He's going to carry that ball all the way to. Ball carried by Sam Evans. Met by uh, number, well, several Sandy Spring players. Could be for a slight loss. It'll make it second and goal. Ball will be on the bounce. The four yard line. Number twenty, Tyler Russell. Gonna push it forward about two or three yards. He's brought down by number 23 and number 12, Edwin Reynolds and Keon Martin. That'll make it third and goal as Crown regroups. Tyler Russell is going to break an extra tackle. He's met by number 90. It's going to be a touchdown for Crown Knight. Now to make it 6 to 12. Here is Crown regroups for the extra points.
It's going to be a pass play completed from Sam Evans to number 20, Tyler Russell. That kickoff by number There's a flag on the play, and we'll wait to see who that sees that again. brought down by number 53 and number 23, Edwin Reynolds and Javon Miller. And that'll make it second down with about eight to go. Braden Beavers, who brings it around to the right with about a one-yard gain. That'll make it third and about four, three to four to go. And the official time on the field is... Again, Braden Peters up the middle. He's met by number 77. Cameron Williams with the tackle. And that's going to make it fourth and five. And we'll get close to the second half. He's going to throw that for 20, 20 yards to Tyler Russell, who makes the complete catch. And it's going to be a first down on about the 8 to 10 yard line for the Crown Knights. Brought down by number 53, Javon Miller. And that'll make it second down with a loss. We 
if you're just joining us, Sandy Spring is leading the game 12 to 8. Kyle Ruffer is going to carry and cut through to the left. He's going to get a pickup of about four yards. It'll be third. Third down. Number 72, O'Neill with a tackle. Yard line will be fourth and eight, or fourth and eight yards to go for the Crown Knight. It's going to be a touchdown. Four, Sam Evans with a pass to Push it forward, a couple of spin moves, break the few tackles, he's brought down. Sandy Springs is going to fall on the ball after the kick from Brett Henry. It's going to be first and ten, Sandy Springs. That's a 45 yard line. Yes. 
Little tackle made by Eli Spivey. Number seven, really angry to the carry. It's going to make it fourth down. Number 82 with the punt. It's Remy Jarvis. And Crown's going to get the ball. On about the 40 yard line. That'll be first and 10, Crown. Score 18, Sandy Springs. 16, Crown. As we've got about five minutes in the third quarter. Crown's going to try to push it up the middle. Tyler Russell with a carry. It'll be second and ten. Brown's going to push the ball forward for another couple yards. Carried by number 57, Caleb Seward. He's going to make it third and about nine, third and about nine. The 
pass play to number 22 complete for about a five yard gain. He's brought down by number 25, Braden Beavers. About three minutes left in the third quarter. Uh, Sandy Springs has it third and about two to go. If you've just arrived, Sandy Springs still leading 18 to 16. She's going to get the first down and push the ball down to about the 25-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Sandy Spring, with about two minutes left in the third quarter. It'll be an incomplete pass. for Sandy Springs. Number 81 was the intended receiver. Adam Bond. Gonna make it second and 10, Sandy Springs. yards on the carry. Brought down by number 77, Reed Taylor. second and about seven to go. There's about a minute 59 left in the third quarter. Cheer man down on the field giving a few cheers out there for everybody. It's going to be a 22 carry up the middle, no gain, Cameron Brown. Make it third and about seven to go. And let's give a big round of applause for our cheerleaders along with Cheerman, also AKA Joshua Womack, also my son. Number 
number 11 with the catch. It's going to be first and goal at the one yard line. They're going to pitch number 11, Leonardo Vargas, and he's going to be able They pitch it to number 11 again, Leonardo. Gonna be able to push it in for gonna be incomplete pass. Andy. Five, he pushes forward. He dropped down by number 53 for Sandy Springs. Javon Miller. It will be about a one yard gain, making it second and nine.
I'm going to hand it off to Braden Beasley. He makes a long pass to number 20, Tyler Russell. It's complete for a first and 10 crown night on about the 45 yard line.
Lady Beavers with the return, number 50, Jamal Harrison with the tackle. Crown's going to get it first and 10 on about the 32 yard line. Looks like the scoreboard is controlled by a governor, which is shut down. Again. Number 21, the same strength with the tackle, Cameron Reed, will be for a loss. That'll make it second down. Sam Evans with the pass intended for Braden Beaver. It's going to be a reverse by Tyler Russell. He brings it around and it's brought down around the 30, it'll be fourth down for Crown. Number 25, Braden Beaver hit the carry. Tackled by number 53, Javon Miller. And that's going to change the ball over. Sandy Springs will get the ball. On about the 35 yard line. The first and 10, Sandy Springs with a score. If you just joining us, 36, Sandy Springs for 22, Paul.